Welcome to Chocolate Stories. Who doesn't like munching on chocolates, right? How about a story to go along with it? Let me tell you the story of a girl today. Her name was Little Red Riding Hood. Once upon a time, there was a small girl called Little Red Riding Hood. She lived with her parents beside a deep, dark forest. In a cottage on the other side of the forest lived her grandmother. And in the deep dark forest lived a big bad wolf. Grandmother's poorly, said Little Red Riding Hood's mother one day. Please take her this cake, but don't stop on the way. So Little Red Riding Hood set off through the deep dark forest. She looked all around. There wasn't a sound. Then who should she meet but the big bad wolf? Good day, my dear, growled the wolf with a big bad smile. What are you doing here? I'm going to grandmother's to take her a cake, replied Little Red Riding Hood. The wolf had a plan. Wouldn't your grandmother like some of these flowers, he smiled. What a good idea, said Little Red Riding Hood, and she stopped to pick a bunch. Meanwhile, the wolf sped ahead through the deep, dark forest. At last, he arrived at Grandmother's cottage. I'm hungry, thought the big bad wolf, licking his lips, and he knocked, knocked, knocked at the door. Hello, Grandmother, growled the wolf. It's Little Red Riding Hood. That sounds more like the big bad wolf, thought Grandmother, and she crept quickly under the bed. The wolf went in. He looked all around, but there wasn't a sound. Then his tummy rumbled. No one's here, he grumbled. Never mind, Little Red Riding Hood will be along soon. Quickly, the wolf put on Grandmother's dressing gown and nightcap. Then he hopped into bed and pretended to nap. Ha! he snarled. Little Red Riding Hood will never know it's me. Soon, Little Red Riding Hood knocked, knocked, knocked at the door. Hello, Grandmother, she called. It's Little Red Riding Hood. Come in, my dear, growled the wolf. Little Red Riding Hood opened the door. Oh, Grandmother, she gasped. What big ears you have! All the better to hear you with, my dear, growled the wolf. And grandmother, what big eyes you have. All the better to see you with, my dear, growled the wolf. And grandmother, what big teeth you have. All the better to gobble you up, roared the wolf. But as he leapt out of bed, grandmother's nightcap flopped right over his head. Quick! Down here, dear, whispered Grandmother, and she pulled Little Red Riding Hood under the bed. Just then, a woodcutter passed by the cottage. He heard a growling and howling, and he dashed inside. With one swish of his axe, he killed the big bad wolf. The woodcutter looked all around, but there wasn't a sound. And then, out crept Little Red Riding Hood and Grandmother from under the bed. And Little Red Riding Hood said, Mother was right. I will never stop again on my way through the forest. I hope all of you enjoyed this beautiful story. Till I am back with you again with some tasty chocolates and a new story.